Welcome to your favorite news network, the Dusty News Network. You know where Negro news comes first. I'm so excited to be your host today. Breaking news! I'm from the hood. I lived in several ones. I lived in Compton. I lived in Santana Block Crip neighborhood. I lived in the south side of Compton and Atlantic Drive neighborhood. And I lived in Sacramento and Del Paso Heights neighborhood. And I know a whole lot about ghetto stuff. That's why I lightweight. I'm a little bit of a pookie myself. Just undercover. Gunshots! But anyways, I know how it goes or how it be. But sometimes some people are just so ghetto, even I'm amazed. And I done been on food stamps and everything, man. But sometimes I'm shocked. And this is a story about a chick who had a baby daddy, but somehow her you know what skills were so good, the baby daddy was like, listen, you need to go ahead and let my brother get some of that you know what for his birthday. Surprisingly, she agreed. And what happened next is the unthinkable. I could not stop bleeding. I went to the emergency room and the doctor was like, your labia ripped. And my baby dad is standing right next to me and his sister. I have to now come up with a story as to how I did that. I gained a title as to where my oral services were top notch. <laughs> So he told his brother, like, he said she could suck peanut butter from Mexico to a straw. But his birthday came around and he was like, hey, my brother want to know if you give him for his birthday. I was like, let me see what your brother look like. I guess <sighs> one thing led to another. He got more than some. And he got a little wild and he got a little too wild and it was like in the middle of i was like wait i need to stop something don't feel right it it it, it hurts me i have a pain kink so i'm like no this is not a good hurt hold on we turn <sighs> father forgive me i swear to god i said i would never speak about this fucking day again but it, it happens we all have a the day we turned on the lights and there was blood on the wall there was blood on the blankets there was blood on the pillows there was blood on the carpet what did you do when you saw it? Ran to the bathroom and locked the door. I just was like, I'm so sorry. And I just kept apologizing. I kept apologizing because I thought he knocked my sight away. So I'm like, can I at least take a shower? Like, I got to go home now. Mind you, this whole time I'm doing this, I have a boyfriend at home. I have a whole family at home. Yes. Oh, my God. And so I'm like, can you at least let me take a shower? I can't walk in the house. Not only is fucked up. This nigga was like, nope, you got to go. He was like, Sh me, I got to get. And his exact words is, we got to get this shit back in order for my bitch get home. So when I went home and I walk in, my baby daddy was sweet. Kids was in the house sweet. I'm like, good. I made a way with it. I go to get in the shower. And you know how before you get in the shower, you sit down on the toilet, right? I went to pee in that. I was like, you son of a bitch. And it's like four or five o'clock in the morning. I did not know what the fuck it was. And I looked and it was just like, I could not stop bleeding. It got so bad. My baby daddy was like, what is the problem? Like I took, I was thinking I was just, my cycle started. Nope. I went to the emergency room and the doctor was like, your labia ripped. And I was like, and my baby daddy standing right next to me and his sister. <laughs> I have to now come up with a story as to how I did that. And I ain't gonna hold you. I just didn't say shit. At that time, I had like really bad asthma. I faked asthma attack and passed out. <laughs> I wasn't dealing with his sister. She already wanted to beat my ass because I was cheating on him a lot. And I had just had a big <laughs> And I was faking the asthma attack. She was like, that bitch, I oh, she lied. <laughs> And I'm saying, I was like, and every time she would come near me, I was like, <laughs> I would do the whole shebang. I swear to God, it got to the point I was foaming at the mouth. I was doing, I was shaking. Call me my. Oh my God. Yeah, the whole shebang. Queen, I have never heard a confession like that. <laughs> so wait a minute, man. You're here. You're, you're, you're telling me that the brother clapped your cheek so hard your labia split then he didn't even let you stay there and so you, your baby daddy had to come and find out the hospital that this is what happened now nah, i mean stop the show I mean, you, you, you're, you're dumb enough to tell the whole world now but i just got one question can i get next i'm just i'm trying to see what it's like now because if you are really like that i only got one thing to tell you planetoc at gmail.com what are you waiting on like 
Yeah, why don't you hit me up, boo? Like, I mean, I could fly you out here. I'm, I'm just, I mean, don't, I ain't gonna rip nothing up, though. This is it. Boo, look at Next story. Most of us who like fried chicken in the black community, we have a few different spots that we like, especially like in the West Coast. Um, you know, you got, if you're in LA, they got some Louisiana fried chickens out there. We don't really have them, you know, out in Northern California. You know, you're gonna have your Popeyes, which is preferred because the red beans and rice is on point. But Popeyes chicken take a lot of time to, you know, like I said, get your order together. And they usually be messing your order up. Press five in the comments if Popeyes chicken is known to mess your order up, messing up biscuits and all kind of stuff right then you got kfc which i mean it's the standard and most known but a lot of people don't really like it but if you're from the hood you know all about churches churches chicken ain't nowhere but in the ghetto and it's a hit or miss usually they got chicken with more grease it's like a soaked out bag of rain and came on it but damn church's chicken do got some good corn the cob it's been a minute but it do be cracking up in there but usually they're in impoverished black communities where everything go down and the customers and the employees ain't playing but this story is gonna shock you it was hard we were struck we were surprised we were hurt but immediately, her and I, we prayed immediately that God give us strength. Yeah, the parents of the woman who was shot and killed last week while she was working at Church's Chicken say that they pray justice is done. And we know that the suspect has been arrested. Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre joining us live downtown outside the courthouse. And she's due in court in about an hour. What do we expect to happen? A bail hearing, perhaps? Yes, and uh, we'll hear if a judge will, uh, in fact, give her a bond, Monica Williams. She's charged with first degree murder. Now, again, this is her first time uh, facing a judge since Memphis police arrested her yesterday. She went on a run from police for about a week or so. A week ago, she, according to Memphis police, she shot and killed Anitra West, that church's chicken employee. And uh, last week we spoke to the family of Anitra West. We heard strong words from her 12 year old daughter to Monica Williams. And just yesterday we spoke to her parents. You'll hear from them in less than 30 minutes from now in this hour of Good Morning Memphis. But a lot of things have come out inside of that affidavit. We do know now that this was all over an order of chicken at Church's Chicken that affidavit detailing that we also know that when anitra west lost her life that that gunshot that fatally uh that fatal gunshot she actually was on the phone with a friend according to that affidavit now, of course we want you to stay with us because again uh monica williams she's set to be in court in less than an hour from now we'll be inside of that courtroom I want you to stay with us now all i'm gonna say is what kind of argument could you have that you would kill somebody that's a damn employee at church's chicken like how how serious do things need to be and this is a woman that did this this is a woman suspect they, by the time this video come out they probably been have found out who it is because again i'm recording this before the information come out but like i said your ass about to spend the rest of your life because you're not going to be able to say self-defense what's she gonna do hit you with a chicken bone she gonna hit you with a biscuit she'll hit you with some macaroni and cheese now church chicken food is so bad you might want to shoot somebody but don't do that man again people got to have some emotional control over themselves nothing is worth going to jail for or dying for i'm pretty sure you got kids somebody love you in your family your ass is gone and then you took somebody else away from this earth over a freaking bag of chicken or order of chicken could have been no more than 20 dollars next story imagine that you got on an app a dating app to meet somebody and when you met them you thought they were going to be somebody else let's say a transgender person showed up what would you do now listen there have been several cases of these things happening where a man you know is impersonating himself to be a woman and that person is not a woman but you know bad things happen with these situations but this story will shock you all right guys so this story is about this pennsylvania man by the name of deshaun watkins damn why his name gotta be that that means he's one of us now he's currently in new york now his victim was someone named paulie likens who was a underage transgender g-i-r-l all right 
was last seen on June 22nd. Human remains were later discovered in and around Shenango River Lake. More remains were found in the area over the next week. Now, how did Polly die? Polly died from sharp force trauma to the head before being dismembered right now Watkins has been charged with deletion aggravated assault evidence tampering and abuse of a corpse right Watkins informed the police that he had set up a meeting with an individual he had been communicating on the dating app grinder now people here have mixed opinions right um some people are saying like hey well the individual shouldn't have tricked him into meeting he probably met the transgender and found out it was a transgender and then that's where the problem is but let's look at some of the comments here all right the fact y'all on here bashing the deceased teen and the parents and not a word on this sick ass monster is insane other person goes y'all need to do y'all research it was a gay dating app and he knew she was transgender blaming the victim who was literally a child as evil r.i.p to that baby now also this one goes the app is for men that like men he definitely knew he was conversing with a man this is wild he wild the mom of the victim wild how was he able to meet up with an adult like for real it's so much shaking my head now grinder does have an age limit of 18 from what people are saying how was the person that got under the age was on there i'm not sure but this seems to me like this person is probably just maybe a psychopath. And again, people do meet people off of apps, um, pretend to be living a certain lifestyle just so that they can do bodily harm to people. So you always gotta be careful on these dating apps. I don't care what they are. And that's probably what happened. He probably was, you know, on the app looking to cause bodily harm to anybody that person could probably meet. Now, as you can see through the comments that I was reading through, this particular individual was on Grindr. Now, Grindr is a dating app that is specifically for people in the LGBTQ community, gay, lesbian, and transgender. So when somebody is saying like, whoa, well, we didn't, he didn't know that he was meeting up with somebody that was gay. Yes, he did. He wouldn't be on Grindr if he didn't, okay? Now, if this is a hate crime or something like that, I'm not sure. But you definitely knew that that person was going to be G-A-Y. Now, the underage individual um, is 10 plus four years old, okay? You can do the math on that. And um, not only are they that old, but they shouldn't have been on the app in the first place because like I said, Grindr is supposed to be for adults right so how did that person get online but regardless of the person's age it's not gonna give any reasons for why you want to delete somebody and then dismember them like that doesn't make any sense but it's okay bro you're gonna spend the rest of your life getting something else dismembered on your body Booty clubs <laughs> guys had a great show the first contestant is this lady who got her cheek clapped so hard by her brother's boyfriend then her labia split then we got this lady unidentified at this particular moment, maybe right now, she's been found and SBK has her picture in the background. I'm not sure, but she gonna gunshots! A turkey chicken employee. Then you have this dude who was on Grinder searching for some, you know, male companionship and then deleted them once he found them. Jeopardy music! I gotta say, it's the last person. Now, don't be wrong. Shooting somebody at Church's Chicken over some damn cornbread and greens is crazy. But bruh, you downloading, going onto Grinder, searching out somebody that's a transgender, inviting them out as if they don't have this technology. Like, don't y'all know about IP addresses? Like, people in the police situations, they are much smarter than what you guys think. They are much more intelligent than what you guys think. And so when you decide that you want to commit one of these crimes, then you run away as if you're not going to leave something like DNA, like you're not going to have an alibi, like you're probably going to be dumb enough to tell somebody. Then you're going to go to jail for the rest of your life and get your cheeks clapped, clapped all the way. Or maybe, you do, maybe you're going to be clapping somebody, but you're probably going to get clapped yourself. Ruin your life for what? Now, for the young man's family or the person's family that, uh, you know, was deleted, I, I definitely, my heart goes out to the individual. But y'all, man, these dating apps are getting very scary. People get robbed on them. People get deleted on them. Please be careful about dating apps. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't even want to go on Tinder no more because we'll stop the show. I, I just don't want <laughs> your mom to get mad when I'm out there, you know, clapping them up. I could have been your daddy, man, but 
Uh, might just be. But guys, thank you for supporting the show. Um, like I said, facebook.com backslash O'Shea Jackson too. You can always check me out there over there doing some big things, doing some nice things. Uh, tag me to all the stories you can over there, guys, and we are out.